Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode in the G and S farming series. My name is HMK, I am the King of the Helsinia Bloodlines clan and welcome to my farm. Okay, without further ado, this episode is going to be about the different types of animals that you can get in the GNS. Now to start off with we're going to have a quick look at chickens which happen to be right behind me and you can see when you buy the chicken cage or the vulos if you wish to call them that but chickens easier for me you can see that they're already in a chicken coop and basically what you have is you have five in a cage they will produce you eggs and for them to produce you eggs they need water and they need sacks of grain now if you watch the episodes on the grain field you'll know how to get your grain you'll know how to care for your fields and you will know how to place the grain um, next to your cages now the next animals we're going to look at are over here. Now these are called via or sheep and you can see if you look at the screen that we have a baby one, we have a male one because he's got the horns on his head and we have a female one. Okay. Now I would like to say a very big thank you to um, a clan that gave me free spirit and if you just give me five minutes I'll actually find out who gave them to me okay thank you for that welcome back guys I've actually found the note card um, of the of the person that gave me the, um, the goat so without further ado what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that note card so you can read it and um, it's just a thank you. So basically the high jar of, if I pronounce it properly, wonderful, if I don't I do, do apologise, La Anza Isle of the House of Redstrom, he's I believe Slave Mystique gave me um, free spirit and so thank you very much from myself and my clan and we will be using free spirit in the Veer um, videos to come over the next few weeks and if you want to pause the video here you can read the note card and you can see the sort of things that they do on on their farm okay and again thank you very much for the male he's a purebred male so I'm very very pleased with this and without further ado we'll close the note card and uh, we'll carry on now what we do is basically again you need a feeding trough which you can see in the middle of the pen you need grain you need water you need shears to shear them if you want to get the best out of the sheep because the sheep or the uh, will give you milk wool and meat and also hide okay so you get quite a lot of stuff from going to via than if you do with chickens but the nice thing with chickens is you don't have to worry about them they don't die the only time that they will die is if you take out too many from the cage or if you forget to put the grain down okay with sheep however they do have a limited lifespan I think it's around about 30 days um, I'm not too sure about that but they will eventually die so what you need to remember is when they give you a baby goat 
is make sure that you always have at least two females and one male okay because if the male dies and especially if it's a purebred you're going to be stuck okay so if it's a purebred make sure you have two males two females if it's not a purebred and it's a crossbreed then make sure you have two purebred males and any females of whatever type you like now we're going to have a look at the next um, type of animal that we can we can get and these are called bosk um, or cattle now again you can see that we've got a male bosk and you can see that we've got female bosks now the only difference I can see in the male bosk and the female bosk is the color the male bosk is slightly darker okay now what you get from the male bosk is that you get hide you get meat and you get milk not the best ones to go for unless you are going to start making shields uh, for sale okay uh, they're, they're, that's what you, what you use you use their hide I believe I've been told that you can use their hide so we'll check out that later on now the one of the other animals that I haven't got is task and as far as I'm aware all that they give you is meat but what I'll do is when we get to the task uh, videos we'll go out we will get some and we will breed them and we will see what we can actually get from those now the final animal that you can get at the moment to my knowledge um, is starlingtons okay or as I like to call them dinos now as you can see I've got two females two males these actually let you know how long they've got left left to live if you can see on the male the red male has three days left and the green male has 28 days left so what happens when they die is basically they don't give you any skins any milk any meat okay all they give you is oil and that oil is used in your foundry and your blacksmithing for GNS and unfortunately they eat meat they are carnivores not herbivores okay so that is all the type of animals that you can get at the moment that I am aware of if there is any more types then do please leave me a comment so I can go and have a look for them and possibly get them uh, but in the next episode on animals we are going to um, show you how to shear a sheep okay so have a good day have a good time in SL and I will see you next time this is HMK signing off